Now, our core values were respect, integrity, communication, and excellence. And we had banners hanging from, you know, the, the lobbies. You had magnets, desk toys, you know, little things in every conference room to talk about our core values. And the, the quote, the Martin Luther King Jr. quote, was underneath every communication comment. Our lives begin to end the day we remain silent about things that really matter. Um, how many people stayed silent at Enron? But this quote is actually really, really tragic. And it's tragic because what does it really mean? Something's very important and you've rationalized staying quiet. You've rationalized that you're safer or better off being quiet. Well, a piece of your soul starts to erode and when you're at the end of your life and it feels like your life's been somewhat purposeless and meaningless, you realize it goes back to that decision where you decided to stay silent. And I know too many people that kind of rationalized that the Department of Justice just got aggressive or started looking, you know, it was popular to, to prosecute white collar crime. But it's very important to say something. We had a lunch conversation about, you know, would I do something differently? One of the faculty said that he's talked to whistleblowers and they almost all say they paid too high of a price and they don't know if they would do it again. But I think the problem is they're comparing their post-whistleblowing life with their pre-ethical dilemma life. So they're thinking about how things were before the ethical dilemma landed on their desk. But once the ethical dilemma lands on your desk, you have to make a choice. And they chose to say something, and life has been rough, and they're comparing it to how life was before the ethical dilemma. But really, they need to compare it to what would your life be like if you had rationalized staying silent? And how would you really feel about yourself living with that rationalization? And really, deep down at your core, you wouldn't be happy with yourself. You know, you spoke up, you, you were courageous. You know, deep down, you might have paid a big price, but you're proud of yourself for doing that. You know, you, you, it's not fair. It's not just that you had the ethical dilemma cross, cross your plate, but it did. 